Super Basic Phrases in Japanese Part 2:11 Sayonara Sayonara Goodbye Goodbye Sayonara originally means goodbye. However, I don't usually use sayonara because sayonara sounds too dramatic. If I say sayonara, I may sound like I am breaking up with someone or I will never see him or her again. 12. じゃあまたじゃあまた See you again until next time じゃあまた means like I will see you again until next time、mm. This is my favorite phrase じゃあまたじゃあ means so then また means again so when you want to say bye to your friends family or classmates you can say じゃあまた but if you say じゃあまた to your boss or teacher it may sound too casual be careful in that case さようなら should be formal. 13. 何ですか何ですか ?What? What is it? 何ですか means what is that? What is it?、Mm. If you want to speak shortly and casually, you can say 何 Nani? It sounds like what? What? Nani? Juyon. Naru hodo. Naru hodo. Oh, I see. I see. When someone is explaining something to you, you can reply Naru hodo. Ah, Naru hodo. It means, oh, I see, I see. Don't worry, it doesn't sound rude at all. So you can say, なるほど to anyone. 15. わかりません。わかりません。I don't know. I don't understand. わかりません means, I don't know. Or, I don't understand. So, for example, when someone is speaking Japanese too fast and you don't get what they are saying, you can say, like,、uh, I'm sorry, I don't get it. Sumimasen, wakarimasen. Just like this. Or, if you want to speak shortly, casually, instead of わかりません。You can say わからない。わからない。I don't know。十六。わかりました。わかりました。I got it. Understood. When someone tells you something and you understand their message, you can reply わかりました。わかりました。As I got it, I understood. Okay, this time as well. If you want to speak shortly, there's a way. Instead of わかりました、you can say わかった。わかった。十七。そうです。そうです。That's right. That's right. Yes. When what your opponent is saying is correct, you can reply, そうです。そうです。
For example, someone asks me, Are you Mr. Tomoyoshi? Tomoyoshi san desu ka? And I say, Hai, so desu. Hai, so desu. Or, again, if you want to speak shortly, you can say, So, so. So, so. That's right. Yes. 18. いただきます。いただきます。I'm gonna eat. Thank you for the food. I'm gonna eat. Thank you for the food. いただきます is Japanese culture and tradition. Before you eat something, you need to say いただきます as the gratitude for the food itself and the chef who cooked it. いただきます and you eat. The verb いただきます itself means I receive. I receive. いただきます十九おいしいおいしい It tastes good. Yummy. If you think something tastes good, you can say, Oh, おいしいおいしい You can use おいしい for both food and drink. Okay, again, as I have mentioned before, if you put this in the end, it sounds formal. So, When you are talking with your boss or teacher, you can say, Oishii desu. Oishii desu. Polite. Niju. Gochiso sama desu. Gochiso sama desu. I have finished my meal. Thank you for the food. Thank you for the food. Gochiso sama desu is also Japanese culture. And tradition. When you have finished eating something, you should say, ごちそうさまです as thank you for the food. In addition, I recommend you say, ごちそうさまです to the chef when you leave the restaurant. I bet the chef will be happy to hear. ごちそうさまです from you. Alright, so far I have introduced 20 super basic phrases. If you have any questions, please leave your comment below. じゃあ、また。東大前日本語は政府から CEF と QR2 の公式認定を受けました。日本語に興味がある人は今すぐ東大前に連絡を我々と一緒に日本語を勉強しましょうはいご視聴ありがとうございましたチャンネル登録もよろしくお願いしますじゃあ皆さんまた一緒に日本語を練習しましょうね